It's an exciting time and a bold new chapter in a remarkable story that began in 1888 when pioneering Sisters of Charity of Nazareth and Sisters of Mercy created healthcare in Arkansas. It's the right moment to call out our sponsorship by Catholic Health Initiatives, CHI, one of the nation's strongest health systems with academic centers, community hospitals, physician clinics, and long-term care facilities across the United States. It's a commitment to Arkansas, investing more than $200 million in technology and facilities over the last five years alone, so we can be here for you. Providing care that no one else does, achieving results that no one else can, innovating healthcare, creating healthy communities, and challenging others to follow. A new name with the same purpose and values you recognize. CHI St. Vincent, imagine better health. Well, we know as women age, our bodies change, nutritional needs change as well. And Dr. Bujra Shah with the Longevity Center at St. Vincent is here to talk a little bit about how our diet needs to tweak a little bit, especially for women over 50. That's right. Yeah. Um, a lot of changes happen in our body after 50, going through mm -hmm. menopause and hormonal changes, and hence how we process food, digest food, and absorb food. Right. So, uh, yes. And I guess the top of the list is going to be calcium and vitamin D because we hear that already as we age. We and need especially more. vitamin D. In all the recent um, studies and research that's come out, there was an emphasis on calcium but not on vitamin D. And mm -hmm. vitamin D was always associated with calcium in bones. But vitamin D is so important in your immunity, in um, cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. and in um, uh, all your metabolic uh, diseases, heart disease, lipid um, immunity, and bone strength. And if you um, test 80% of the state of Arkansas, I bet you you'll find people deficient in vitamin really? D. And you know, in clinics, we routinely check vitamin D, and you actually have to replace it with a therapeutic dose of vitamin D. So you need to talk to your doctor and see if you're deficient. Your uh, joint health, and even for mood and affective disorders, depression, vitamin D is so essential. Okay, what are your favorite ways for us to get it? Well, you know, um, dairy is, is a big, um, a source of vitamin D, but if you don't, uh, if you can't take dairy, then the most common uh, source of getting vitamin D is sunshine, which we don't have a lot of today. Not today. So it's right. not a reliable source of getting vitamin D mm -hmm. because of weather, because mm -hmm. of uh, smog, fog, clouds. So um, there are other foods that we that will have vitamin D, like fatty fish, mm -hmm. um, beef liver oil, beef liver or uh, cod liver oil, um, egg yolks. Uh, certain mushrooms, orange juice, right, and canned tuna. These yeah. will all have uh, some sources of vitamin D as well. And we know we need to use our sunscreen, but it's okay to get a little sun, right? That's right. Uh, you know, uh, we use sunscreen to block the um, uh, dangerous effects of um, the sun, but it's also blocking some of the beneficial effects of mm -hmm. sunshine. So you need to get some sun, and then it gets absorbed and um, through your skin. Okay, calcium, I guess, is second on your list. That's right. Mm -hmm. And calcium and vitamin D kind of go hand in hand, but calcium is very important. Calcium is associated with your bone health, but calcium is also important in, um, again, um, your all the uh, regulatory systems of your body, your circulation, your cardiovascular, your immunity, and, um, you know, um, calcium um, uh, it helps preserve our bones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and again, the source of calcium is dairy, uh, but if you, uh, you can get it in uh, dark leafy vegetables and lentils and mm -hmm. beans as well. Yeah, if you, again, if you can't do dairy, and a lot if of people can't, can't dairy, then there are right. other sources. Mm -hmm. We're hearing more and more about probiotics. Are those important as we age? Probiotics are your healthy, happy bacteria that you want in your gut. Uh -huh. um, you know, we have uh, good bacteria and bad bacteria. The good bacteria is what we want more of. So, um, good sources of uh, probiotics will be um, yogurt. Mm -hmm. uh, although you want to get uh, natural yogurt, you want to do, uh, you know, the Greek yogurt, right. which is less processed. Um, you want to do Activia. Um, other sources of Probiotics will be um, uh, sauerkraut, mm -hmm. kimchi, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And um, what it does is it helps with your digestive system, but it also helps with your immunity. And it, it helps uh, um, regulate, um, again, uh, your circulation and prevents heart disease and all and when it prevents heart disease it's good for your brain health mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. But again look for the natural or the Greek or something like that because yes. there's so many kinds out yes. there now. Okay and then omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are also very essential because they help promote good brain health uh, and good uh, circulation, good cardiovascular health. Mm -hmm. Omega-3s are found in uh, fatty fish like sardines and um, t um, salmon. Salmon. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you, if you don't like um, uh, fish, uh, walnuts are a good source of omega-3s as well. Yeah, it's like the best nut out there, yes. isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's, I've heard it said. It's uh, shaped like a brain. It's, you know, <laughs> you think it's good for yeah. your brain. And, um, you know, you can take pills as well, but then there is a, a risk of bleeding associated with the omega-3, so make sure you talk to your doctor and you're not taking too much and you're not having some kind of a bleeding problem with omega-3s. Okay, let me list uh, the rest of them and you just kind of talk about it. Magnesium, fiber, and then also water. Magnesium is such an essential, essential mineral in our body. It, it, you know, you say that if you take enough mineral, mm -hmm. it, uh, 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 enough magnesium, it, you can almost reverse the clock. It helps nerve and muscle health. It can um, uh, re help regulate um, your uh, blood sugars and uh, and. Uh, your blood pressure and mm -hmm. it's uh, good for your cardiovascular health as well but again 400 milligrams of magnesium is all that you want to take you don't want to take too much too much right. because you can have adverse effects you can have uh, magnesium toxicity which can then cause nausea vomiting respiratory problems it can dangerously lower your blood pressure so you want to be careful how much magnesium you're taking okay i think we'll have to wrap it right there but we know there is a ton of information at the longevity yes. center you are that. what you eat yeah. so uh, eat well you can actually lose weight by eating the right foods i didn't mention that uh you know drinking water makes you lose weight mm -hmm. um, fiber actually helps you lose weight because it fills you up it slows your digestion and that that's why that's how you can regulate and actually fiber for every gram of fiber, you burn seven calories. So you take 35 mm -hmm. grams of fiber, you burn 245 calories right there. Very good. We like to turn the clock back, as <laughs> she said. Right. And you can do it through your diet. And you can call the Longevity Center there at St. Vincent uh, to find out more information as well on changing your diet as we age. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. We appreciate you. you braving the rain to get here today. <laughs> Thank you. It's been messy.